What is a salt? In this video, we will answer this common question and work out the formula of different ionic salts. A salt is made of two ions, a positive ion, which we can call cation, and a negative ion, which is also called an ion. These two oppositely charged ions come together to form an ionic compound, which we call a salt. We can make salt by reacting acids with three things, metals, carbonates, or bases. Acids provide the negative ion, while metals, carbonates, and bases provide the positive ion. Let's check out the different possibilities in this table. We will now focus on reaction of acids with metal. Let's consider the reaction between nitric acid and zinc metal. Now zinc will provide the cation, and we have Zn2+, and nitric acid will provide the anion, hence we will have NO3-, which is a nitric ion. To work out the formula, we will bring the value of the charge down. We call this the cross method. Now do note that the ionic compound that you want to form, you want the overall charge of the compound to be zero. So we have two nitric ions to balance the charge of one zinc ion to make the overall charge of this ionic compound zero. Hence, the formula of zinc nitrate is Zn NO3 bracket 2. We will next focus on reaction of acids with carbonates. Let's consider reaction between hydrochloric acid and magnesium carbonate. Now, magnesium carbonate provides the cation, and we have Mg2+, and hydrochloric acid will provide an ion, hence we have Cl-. Similarly, we will use cross method, bring the value of the charge down. We will need two Cl- to balance charge of one Mg2+, to make the overall charge of the ionic compound neutral, which is zero. Now the formula of magnesium chloride will be MgCl2. Let's move on to the next reaction, reaction of acids with bases. Now for bases, there are soluble bases which you call alkali or insoluble bases which can be metal oxides or metal hydroxides. Let's focus on reaction of acid with alkali. We have sulfuric acid with sodium hydroxide. Now sodium hydroxide provides the cation Hence, we have sodium ion, Na+, and sulfuric acid will provide the anion. Hence, we have sulfuric ion, SO4, 2 minus. Using the cross method, we have two Na+, and one SO4, 2 minus. So, we need two positive one sodium ions to balance one negative two sulfuric ion. Hence, the formula is Na2, SO4. Next, we shall focus on the reaction of acid with insoluble base. Now, as mentioned, insoluble base can be insoluble metal oxide or metal hydroxides. We'll use sulfuric acid and magnesium oxide as an example. Magnesium oxide shall now provide magnesium ion, which is Mg2+. Sulfuric acid shall provide the sulfate ion, which is SO4-2-. We use the cross method. We will have 2 Mg2 plus and 2 SO4 2 minus. Now the number of cation and anion is the same. Hence, we simplify it from ratio of 2 is 2 to 1 is 1. We need just 1 Mg2 plus to balance the charge of 1 SO4 2 minus. Hence, the formula of magnesium sulfate is Mg SO4. Now, if you find this video useful, do remember to like the video and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel for more chemistry learning videos. If you'd like to have more chemistry learning resources, you may want to check out my website. The link is in the description. Have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.